I make stuff up. Okay. <laughs> Look at what's happening now. There have been fundamental changes in the way uh, people think about problems, the kinds of problems that occur, and certainly the impact on design. Now, my definition of design thinking is applying the methodologies and approaches of design to a broader set of issues and problems in business and society. So many people think that it's kind of like in your genes. You're a creative person or you're not. I don't buy that. Prototyping testing, failing all the time, but failing quickly and cheaply in order to succeed. A big part of it with city governments is just getting them comfortable with the idea of experimentation. It's totally antithetical to the culture of startups in Silicon Valley. Try something if it doesn't work, throw it out and start again. Now, when the government came to us and asked us to redesign the ballot, we said we wouldn't redesign the ballot, but what we would do is redesign the election experience. If I didn't have to just pick boring, ugly bike, <laughs> pre-built, off the shelf. If I got to choose the color of the frame, the color of the wheels, what would my bike look like? I think it was called the Flower Power, was the internal name for one of the iMacs, and it wasn't a success. It lasted in the marketplace for six months. Some people are saying, oh, I hate the word design thinking. If you're only thinking, then you're not doing. Some of the aspects of design thinking are simply suggesting that designers are not thinking. It doesn't matter what the problem is, I can go in and solve it because I'm a designer. I once had a guy come to me and literally say, it ain't show art, kid. You know, it's show business. Why is it that big, huge corporations get beaten by kids in garages? The thing that excites me the most about this, and I think excites most people, is we have a chance to really move the needle. We have a chance to make a difference on a significant level when we get all these pieces moving together, and that's what gets me up every day.